Oh yeah. Not playing games today. What we have here is one of the best hardcore records once again in my collection but ridiculously remixed by Taylor Young at the pit Coda's Life Declination of Independence Born to Land Hard is Born to Land Hard, but Declination is a little more just like, oh my goodness. Like as soon as you as soon as you hear Days Born Amongst Enemies, it's just like What? But yeah. Declination Independence 8389 Recordings Reissue First Time Ever on Vinyl Jeff Gunnell's Vocals Roy Bates on Drums Johnny Hate on Guitar Mike Coles on Bass Big Dog on Guitar There's I'm trying to see something real quick Yeah, Mixed by Taylor Young at the Pip Recording studio in Van Nuys, California. Mastered by Brad, the mighty Brad Boatwright at Audio Siege. The drums sound so ridiculous on this version of the album compared to the original. And Coldest Life, once again, proves why they are one of the hardest bands of all time. Declaration of Independence is probably one of the most underrated hardcore records ever because the production of the original mix, it's a little weird, but it's still heavy. It's got the it's got the songs, it's got the breakdowns, it's got the riffs. Jeff Gunnell, the vocals sound insane. Like not as pissed. But, like, still extremely angry and awesome. And it's just one of those metallic hardcore records that kind of just is up there with, like, Satisfactions, The Death of Desire, etc. Integrity, System Overload. And... You know, when it comes to Cold's Life, Born to Land Hard is my go-to, but I can see Declination and this new mix throughout time definitely becoming my go-to Cold's Life record. Like, it's just, it's so good. Like, it sounds insane. Production is so good. The artwork so good. This whole album, like, oh my goodness, it boggles my mind. Demon Seed, probably just, oh my goodness. Again, I, I could just ramble on about how hard this record is all day, but like, I want you to go check this out yourself. I want you to have your own Cold as Light experience. Because to me, like, Cold as Light is one of those bands where, like, when it came to hardcore and stuff, you know, there was a lot of bands that were going for that look how tough we are, like, image and stuff, where, like, if you knew Cold as Life, you knew, like, oh, all right, those dudes don't, like, play, play games. Like, they will mess you up. And all you have to do is listen to Colder Than You crew, and you'll know that. Because CTYC, 
Oh my goodness. Like, when it comes down to it, like, I legit, I don't know what I honestly like better. They're both so good in their own ways, but Declination of Independence just has, like, a lot more digestible songwriting for somebody that, like, might just be looking for a straight up hardcore record where it's like, all right, I can mosh here. And like, I know I can mosh here. And I know that sounds stupid, but like, trust me, like sometimes that's how bands work. Like, I like when a band like Cold as Life makes you wait for the part where you're gonna, you know, drop kick your best friend in the face. Like, it's so hard. I, I, I love it. Like, <laughs> when it comes to metallic hardcore and just hardcore in general, no pun intended, CAL, Cold as Life, Declination of Independence, Amazing Reissue by Dom at A3. Recordings. This is a record I never, ever legit thought I would just own. Again, I had a CDR of this, and that was it. And I was happy that I had that CDR. But I'm trying to see who did the cover art for the. I know it was restored by, uh, yeah, Twid and uh, Hunter Winstead. But to win from integrity. So, like, I mean, so many gnarly people worked on this record. It's so sick. I, I, I love Cold as Light. And, again, the lore behind Cold as Light that is insane. <laughs> like, this record, the more I listen to it, like I said, the more it's like, alright, like, this gets better and better with each listen. Like, every song on here is legit, like, badass. The samples are great. But Declamation of Independence, Days Born Amongst Enemies, Who Holds the Truth, I Can't Breathe, You Still Not One, Tried and True, Fakes, My Prayer, My Own Worst Enemy, Colder Than You Crew, What It Was, Thousand Yard Stare, and Demon Seed? If you don't know Demon Seed, you need to know Demon Seed. That song. Wow. This whole record. Taylor's. Wow. I, I can't believe you made. Like, if you go and listen to the original version of this compared to this, you're going to be like, like, wow. Like, Taylor Young is the man. Properly remix and remaster. Technically a hardcore classic that, due to production issues, was kind of like a black sheep record when it comes to, like, just Cold as Life. I know a lot of people, before the reissue, like, when you'd bring this up, a lot of people be like, oh, like, I think that's the better record, but the production, you know. And I, I get it, you know, it is what it is. People like what they like when it comes to production, but I personally, this remix and stuff. And even again, like, I, Brad Boatwright, just because I know he did the Dying Breed ones as well, like, yo. Seriously, like, from Vastum to... Dying Breed and Cold as Life, like, absolutely killing it. it. He does such a good job. But, um, Colder Than You Crew, 
Like, what a hard song. And just, again, what a great record. If you're a fan of metal, if you're a fan of hardcore, throw them both together. This is not lame. No good cop, bad cop vocals. No clean singing. One song might have a little, um, like, sky part. But a lot of these songs were um, written by uh, Rodney, I think. Because um, uh, some, some of these songs are, like, from the demo and stuff. Trying to see if it has, like, lyric. Ah, uh, it doesn't. Like, uh, Born to Land Hard does. Tells you, like, who wrote what song. But I know that, uh, that dude, uh, yeah, R- Rom, uh, um, wrote some song. Wrote the lyrics to, uh, I Can't Breathe. Uh, Days Born. Amongst Enemies, Tried and True, and Fakes. So, recorded by Jay Clifton and Big Dog, Detroit, Michigan. But then, like I said, ridiculous mix job by Taylor Young at the pit. And then mastered by Brad Boatwright. Wow. Again, when these are sold out. They're probably going to be sold out for good. I got the 8389 edition on Bandcamp. The purple one. They had like splatters and stuff, but it sold out before um, their comeback show. So if you want a copy of this, you can get the CD version from 8389 or the purple version from 8389. So good. If you're a fan of like a hundred demons, God's hate, like you're gonna love this, obviously, but Cold as Life, Declination Independence, and Born to Land Hard. Wow. Thank you to the Patreon for making today's video possible. And for these reissues here, these 8389 reissues, Dying Breed, Take My Soul, Give Me Grave, so good. Like, I'm probably about to throw this on, but kind of, I kind of want to listen to some Torso Creep. Actually, I, I said I was going to listen to the Spectral Voice, uh, Wind of Gang Split, and then it's back to Declination of Independence. Cold as Life. Declination Independence 8389 recordings. When these are sold out, don't set don't tell me I didn't tell you so. E fucking essential. Thanks for watching as always, you fucking rule. Hands. Grr.